the symmetrical ground fault current the symmetrical ground fault current is <coughs> if what i am talking about this symmetry zero sequence 3 i0 that is a symmetrical uh, fault current ig so this is the these are the some important terms we need to know before attending the work our uh, general uh, activity of uh, this so now i got the what are the fundamental terms these are the main things uh, we are having different other things also but mainly we are focusing on this uh, like uh, i i f i z 3 i 0 s f these things g p r r come to the next one so some other important terms are there let's talk about this so now let's see it here I want to explain some concept to you. A person, uh, generally, how the IEEE AT guide was uh, uh, was uh, uh, written is, if you just read that guide, it's 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 a very interesting. If you are reading, uh, in, you know, if you if you are reading that entire uh, guide, you will feel uh, very uh, interesting when you are reading that. So. Here, some more, some more terms we need to talk here. It was mentioned very clearly in the IEEE in AD that he, the scientist or the researcher, he has done so many research on different persons and he recorded all the values and he found that at what current the person may feel shocked. Because the human body is also offers some resistance. The human body offers some resistance. Suppose he conducted the experiment with uh, two categories. One is a 50 kg, one is a 50 kg weight, and another 70 kg weight. And he found the resistance of that body. And he, no, and he, uh, saw and he uh, uh, from his research he got uh, uh, he got some conclusions that if the fault if the current is 25 milliamps uh, this is the effect if the current is uh, 10 milliamps this is the effect ventricular fa fabrication some uh, may he will uh, lead to the death all these things so let's talk, talk uh, by seeing that now uh, let's see this right i will talk with this only then it will get a clear understanding of this. Let's go to the uh, fine text slides. Yes. So here I am I am first of all checking the what is the tolerable current that human body can tolerate? What is the current that the human body can tolerate? So he said. Team, are you able to see my screen? Hello? 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 Yes, are you able to see my screen? Yeah. Yes, sir. So, <clears throat> here, this tolerable current can be depends upon the frequency of that current magnitude and duration and also it depends upon the time these are the three important things generally a body uh, the current can be tolerated so if i am just go through this uh, after the session let's just show you that if current of 1 milliamp is generally recognized as a threshold of perception that is a current magnitude at which person is able to detect a slight tingling sensation in his hands or fingertips for one milliamps. If it is one to six milliamps, it's a kind of a let go currents through unpleasant uh, to sustain. Generally, do not impair the ability of person holding to control his muscles and release it. He will release it. Sorry, he will feel, feel shock kind of. Nine to twenty five milliamps. These are may may be painful and difficult or impossible to release. If higher currents, it may affect like a breathing difficult also. If the current magnitudes uh, in the range of 60 to 100 milliamps and 
or reach out that ventricular fibrillation or stoppage of heart, heart attacks, respiratory system, or cause injury or death. So now, so by this, the guide, uh, he saw that he calculated how much current, I know the current, right? And I know the temp time. Uh, suppose IB equal to K by suffix TS, where K is one of the uh, constant I am considering here. See, if you remember this formula, this formula we discussed when I am explaining about the short circuit current. If I am selling it, if I am any calculating any current, there what I have done, area of the square mm should be equal to ISC root T by K formula. Same, ISC root T by K. Their K, we discussed for aluminum conductor, the K value is 94. Uh, for and for the copper, the K value is 124. Something we, we discussed there. Now, this K, now the material is human body. Human body. So the K is equal to root over SB, S suffix B, which is the shock energy, S suffix B. So <coughs> generally it is 0 0.0135 per 50 kg per cent. Uh, so when I'm calculating, I got so 0 0.116 by root of TS. Suppose if I am allowing this current for one second, then the body, uh, this body, the body can tolerate, can tolerate 367 milliamps per 0.21 seconds or 116 milliamps per one second. Got my point, team? I mean, this by this, I can say that if a 50 kg person, he can tolerate G116 milliamps of the current for one second. Or else 367 milliamps per 0.1 seconds. Or 3 amps, 3 amps, 3.6 amps per 0 0.01 seconds, like that. So from this, uh, so from this, I got that uh, this is the equation where the TS, now you have to design the TS. So what is the maximum you are generally considering? Generally, uh, it's totally depends upon your protection philosophy, what you adopted. So here the optimization will come. Generally, all will go for a worst condition and they will select the TS as three seconds. So if you just place the three seconds, three seconds here. So 0 0.116 by 1.732, right? 1.732. So it comes to nearly, uh, could be like uh, less than uh, 116 milliamps, right? So that is the one. And uh, for 70 kg body, this is the equation. So you can use whatever you want. If you choose 50 kg body, it is a good because 50 kg body, offers the less resistance, it is a worst condition. It's a worst condition. 70 kg body offers a high resistance. It is a optimized condition, optimized kind of thing. So next. Next, I am calculating the, I calculated the current. Thing. Now I calculated the current and I found that this current uh, for 50 kg body, the tolerable current is 0 0.116 milli, uh, 116 by root of TS. So it depends upon the time. Next, resistance of the human body. Now I am calculating the resistance of the human body. And generally for this purpose, the following resistance in series of the body are assumed. One is hand to the foot contact resistance equal to zero. And a glove and shoe resistance are also equal to zero. So it was seen that the resistance of human body from hand to feet and from hand and also from hand to hand from one foot to other foot, uh, generally he is considering 1000 ohms as a resistance of the body. 1000 ohms as a resistance of the body. Now I got the resistance. I got the uh, current. Now I am calculating the how, what is the voltage developing? 